and then they stay well into the fall. It's so nice to have them there. Uh, Derek Walleen is going to join us now to talk about the Walleen's only butterfly plant. And, you know, this is not just that typical crazy gets out of hand butterfly bush that you can find locally, right, Derek? Oh, yeah, you see them all over the countryside, particularly mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania. They're really pretty because. Butterfly bush definitely has one of the best fragrances in the entire world. I mean, I've smelled a lot of flowers, and I really mean it when I say yeah. that. But they look horrible oftentimes. Mm -hmm. I think everyone watching knows what I'm talking about, if you've right. ever had a butterfly bush. What is the solution? Well, what we have in front of us, this is the answer. We've got three compact, sturdy, stout and willy varieties. They only grow about three and a half to four feet tall, Carolyn, but uh -huh. you get you know, tons and tons of flowers per plant. So imagine your butterfly bush, and if you could peer out your window right now and look at it, it's probably tall and scraggly, half of it's laying on the ground, it's got not a, a nice shape to it, all kooky crazy, mm -hmm. and it looks really leggy, which means you've got all those woody things at the bottom that don't look pretty, and then the flowers are all at the top. Imagine now if you had butterfly bushes that were shorter, filled with foliage so you don't see the legs, and tons of blooms in colors that you've never seen before. Yeah, this collection, it's really, really special. My dad is crazy about it. I mean, you can see the form on these plants. They're compact, they're dense. They look like a shrub, yes. not a big leggy, right. you know, half tree, half right. alien, <laughs> you know. It doesn't look like that. And the colors, you've noticed, a bright blue. Oh my blue, gosh, look at that one. A bi color, so rare wow. in the world, the butterfly bush. Now what makes these special is they've also got the other qualities that everyone loves about butterfly bush. They bloom for four months, yeah. starting in July, all the way th up to the first frost in October. Uh -huh. Look at that I deep, know. rich color. That looks like a lilac. I mean, that it is smells gorgeous. like honey and lavender combined. Wow. It's really one of the fragrances I have the diff most difficult time describing because it's so rich and truly intoxicating. Know, it's, it's like pure sugar aroma. And each one of those little buds on that long conical bloom uh, is a, a little serving plate of dinner for your butterflies. So you're going to sometimes see three or four of them on one bloom mm -hmm. and they'll keep coming back because they're a little bit territorial and they remember whose yard has oh, yeah. the stuff they like. Totally. So you're going to see tons of them all over your yard as soon as these start to bloom. And as Derek is showing you, you're getting three, no, uh, six. six, sorry, yeah. two of each three, one. Yeah, three and, varieties. Um, so three varieties and they're nice and established when you get them. They've actually gone through their first winter already, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. So they're called vernalized. Right. That's a big deal because uh, oftentimes people People who sell plants at the garden centers, you know, they'll get a size about this big in uh, one or two months, but it's actually still a baby. These have gone through an entire winter. So when you get these home, they're really going to become like right full and that, grown that's really important quick. because you know often you think gosh is that little baby plant going to survive if, if I don't plant it exactly perfectly right yes these are already very sturdy and ready to go and you might often get it out of the box and there'll already be a little bloom or two on it uh, because they're ready to shoot up and go so tell me about the colors that I'm going to be getting yeah so the first one is blue this is the lock inch you can see bright blue uh, these are 10 to 12 inch flower panicles. These are huge. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're talking about design, you can place these so many other places than a traditional butterfly bush mm -hmm. because the shape, the form, it's tidy, it's un it's unique, and right. it, it actually looks beautiful mm -hmm. and smells beautiful. So you know, put this in places like your borders, your walkways, mm -hmm. landscapes, where you have, you want bounties and bounties of flowers yes. to appear. And you know, you also saw this bright pink. We have a bicolor. This is really unique. It's like a lavender and an orange yeah, combined. Yeah, so pretty. It, it's really hard to find. Now, the thing about these are you're going to get butterflies, like you mentioned, also uh, hummingbirds. Mm -hmm. But deer don't like them. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, they smell like amazing. Deer don't like these. Deer don't like things that we think smell good. <laughs> I mean, I think they, they think they smell bad. So <laughs> that's a good thing. But uh, the thing that we've always loved about butterfly bushes is A, they attract the butterflies, of course. B, they're pretty easy to grow. I mean, if you just plant them, they'll grow. But usually they grow in a very messy way. And they don't grow in a way that looks pretty. They're just kind of haphazard. And they often will take over your garden. I know a lot of folks, including my parents, who have had somebody come over and take out 
several of their butterfly bushes because they just were just expanding too much. Oh, yeah. It didn't look Happens pretty anymore. The and then when you trim them, then they get, it's unlike most plants, it seems like the butterfly bushes get even worse. <laughs> and they so, don't produce flowers very right. well afterwards. So you want to replace those crazy ones or try these for the first time with this type of variety mm -hmm. that doesn't get too big, still fills out, retains its nice shape, but it's filled with foliage and lots of flowers instead of all that other craziness. Totally, you said it. Right and they really do, they start blooming at about the middle of summer and they bloom for months. Uh, the butterflies will be around as long as they're in bloom. They also do make great cut flowers. You know, if you've got lots of these and they're gonna produce lots of flowers, I put them in, you know, little bud vases or, you know, you can put mix them in with some other flowers if you've got a mixed flower arrangement. Mm -hmm. I think they're really pretty and they do have a fabulous fragrance. Yeah. Totally. So let's say hi to Eileen in Georgia. Hi, Eileen. How are you? Hey. I'm doing great. Nice doing to great this morning. Nice to meet you. Thanks for calling. Did you like our butterfly bushes from Roberta's? Yes. Um, I shop at nurseries a lot, so the, the price is great. That is okay. a great price. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, you, if you've had butterfly bushes in the past, you know they can sometimes be a little bit problematic. Right. We just moved to our home here that um, we're out in the country, but we've, this is just our second year, so I'm okay. getting ready to start all over with yard, and um, this looked like something that could survive me. Oh, absolutely. And you know what? They grow rather quickly, so Good. you're going to not have to wait and wait for several seasons to see some results from these, Eileen. So you think I'll see something this year? Well, Derek, oh. what will she see this year? Definitely, Eileen. These are going to get around two and a half feet tall and wide this year. They're very fast growers. And max, they're going to be about four feet you know, tall, three feet wide. So they're going to get over half their size this year. Because remember, these don't get six feet high and ten feet wide like those other crazy butterfly bushes do. These are going to stay nice and tidy for you. Well, I've got a lot of birds here. We started with that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm looking forward to the hummingbirds and butterflies. Oh, good. Well, I think you'll be very pleased with these. And let me tell you something. You will not see these colors locally in any kind of butterfly bush. They are just outstanding. They are beautiful. They really are. Well, congratulations on your new place, Eileen. Okay, and, thank you. And have fun with your garden this summer. Thanks for calling. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. I actually did order a couple of sets of compact butterfly bushes this year because I did pull out oh. my crazy big ones yeah. because they just were, they were, you know, leaning over the stone wall. They were breaking the fence. I mean, they're just crazy. After getting about, you know, seven or eight years old, they were just really out of control. Yeah. These will come back every year. They will continue to perform for you, but they'll stay in a nice shape and size. And you're getting quite a few. Six plants. Six you can plants. do a lot with. I mean, imagine mm -hmm. a 12 mm -hmm. foot border mm -hmm. this year. Right. Or if you want to do a mass planting, you can consider around like 10 to 12 uh, square feet just this year and then every, all the growth afterwards. But what's so special as these plants, like we were mentioning to Eileen, they really will grow quite large this summer. Yeah. And typically, as Eileen said, the bargain is great because you're talking about about $5 per plant here with our price. How much do you pay for a regular butterfly bush that has all these qualities we don't like so much mm -hmm. at the garden shop? Maybe you could get two for this price yep. and they wouldn't be these pretty colors and they wouldn't perform like these. So it's definitely worth it to pick up the only butterfly bush from Roberta's this year and it is our only quantity of the season. This is a hot pick today. It's one of our stars of the day. We know you're going to love it because it's easy to grow. You get fragrance, you get color, and you don't get something that's out of control while you're still getting the butterflies. Yeah, people, they love butterfly bush. You see them all over the country. They're easy to grow. The thing about butterfly bushes, like you mentioned, they don't grow well. This collection offers three varieties, Carolyn bright blues, pinks, a bicolor that are really hard to find, mm -hmm. but they have the consistent good qualities that we love in butterfly bush, like heat and drought tolerance, yeah. deer resistance, long bloom period for four to five months. And they're also winter hardy down to negative 20 below yeah. zero. So you can grow these practically all the way up to the Canadian border down south into Florida. Anybody is going to have good luck with these. And again, they're the centerpiece of your butterfly garden. And if you're wondering what else do I plant, 
Well, Derek, you can jump in here, but I would say lantana. I would Lantana's say um, I have a butterfly garden of all Roberta's plants that has the kitty cat mint, which we don't have this season, but that's yeah. great. Um, also, you could do, I put phlox in mine. So it's really whatever you like, um, but remember, this needs to be there. This is the centerpiece, and it's going to be a nice, pretty centerpiece. Um, and it, since you're getting six of them, you could probably create a couple of different butterfly gardens with these. Yeah, and it, you know, pick up more than one set. You can do a lot. Yeah. Now, the fragrance on these, if you've never smelled a butterfly bush, go to your garden center right now, find the leggy variety, and go smell it. They are like pure honey, mm -hmm. crystallized and you know spread into yeah, a vapor. Super fragrant. It's amazing. Yeah. The thing about these are they really create memories. My grandmother used to grow the older versions in her yard. Mm -hmm. They're one of my favorite flowers, and I've been all over the world looking at flowers. Yeah. So one of our classics in America. It's right here. Mm -hmm. You can't beat it. But yeah. now it's been bred and hybridized over the years to produce a superior quality plant which isn't going to fall over, look ugly, have right. lots of brown, right. woody right. stems oh, I know. everywhere. And for a lot of the year, uh, you're going to have great luck with these. And again, you're getting six, so we're showing you three. Um, this is, what, how, is this their full size right here? This is almost their full size. Okay, so they'll get a little bit bigger than what you're yep. seeing here, a little bit taller, uh, but you're going to get to about half of their full size at least this summer so you're not going to be stuck waiting and waiting for any results you'll have blooms you'll have butterflies and then they will continue to come back every year mm -hmm. but they won't get out of control yeah that's what makes these great and you know we all love yellow butterfly bush we all love purple butterfly bush mm -hmm. those are really common yeah none of those colors are in this collection for a reason mm -hmm. because you can't find them practically anywhere at the garden centers that's yeah. what makes it so special yeah. and they all have a unique special fragrance as, as well depending on what color that you're planting mm -hmm. these i think in particular have a really wonderful hard to find fragrance let me mention something too before we're out of time by the way well over how many are gone now stan 1,200 ordered. Uh, these are great container plants, as you're showing right here. Mm. Um, if somebody doesn't have a yard, this is something you can put in a pot, right? Oh, yeah, and do, it does really well do in a pot. They great because they're drought tolerant, so let's say mm -hmm. you space out on watering it, and it's not in the ground, so mm -hmm. there's not a lot of moisture in, around. Mm -hmm. These will maintain themselves just hit them the next day with some water and they'll right. be totally fine. And because they stay nice and tidy, they are happy in a pot as uh, versus some of the other ones that, oh, yeah. you know, they, they want to be in the ground getting big like a tree. Yeah, So uh, totally. These are perfect. So point, if you've sized down like my parents have, or maybe you don't have a garden at all now and it's just all on your patio or your deck, this is also a lovely way to get those butterflies onto the porch or the deck without having to have them planted in the yard. And of course, you guys always have a wonderful growing guide. Yeah, I just want to make sure everyone understands that when you grow with Robertas, you're growing in a secure and stable way. Your roots are really going to go deep and you're going to be a happy oh, I know. gardener. Well, so. this is if you're not quite sure how to plant these or anything that you purchase, you get a growing guide with each and every uh, plant item that you get from Robertas. And it'll ship out to you at the time that is correct for planting it.